Hi there, friends. Welcome to your Primer Part 1 Piano Adventures course. My name is Miss Diana. I'm so excited to be your teacher and guide through this introduction to piano class. All right, my friend, now we're going to jump into our book. I'm actually going to bring it up here on my screen with you, but I want you to meet me on page number four. That's where we're going to start together. All right, so we're going to start here on page four. This is going to be all about sitting at the piano. So now there's three things that are mentioned, your distance, your height, and sitting tall. We're actually going to start on number three. I'm gonna go backwards. So sitting tall. You might notice that I do have a back on my chair, but I don't lean back as I'm playing. If you have a bench, we don't wanna be sitting forward, hunched over. You wanna sit with your back nice and tall. That's what it means to sit tall, feet flat on the ground and you are now going to check also your height your height means that when you are playing on the piano your elbows or your your arm is level now i'll be able to tell you more about your height once i see your first recording and then i'll send feedback home about whether or not your keyboard needs to be higher or you need to be higher i will help you with number two so that is number two number one is actually your distance. Let me show you how I'm going to be checking for your distance. So you might see here, I'm going to stretch out two fists over the piano. Now I'm sitting tall, my back is straight. If I'm back here, this means I'm too far. If I'm up here, this means I'm too close. So you want to be seated so that your knuckles reach the end of your keys. And then once you're here, you're at the correct distance to your piano. All right, so now let's move on to our next part. So now friends, I want you to take your hand and make a fist with one. Now you're going to take the other and cover up the fist. Now I want you to remove the bottom hand without moving your fingers on top, watch. Do you see that? This is the curve we want in our fingers because believe it or not, we actually play on this part of our finger. We do not play on this part. It's this part of our fingers that we want to play on. Now let's take a look back down at the piano again so you can see exactly why you wanna play that way. If I have straight fingers on the keys, who's missing? My thumb, my thumb isn't able to reach, but watch this, watch as I curve up. Ta-da, straight fingers curve. Also, it gives you more power in your playing when you play with that curve to your hand. So it's imagining like you're holding onto a ball whenever you're playing. All right, now what I'd like you to do with me is to bring both your hands up in front of you. So I want you to go through finger numbers with me. This is going to be from now to the most advanced music that you play. But you have your ones, your thumbs are one, twos, threes, fours, and fives. Let's go back in. Four, wiggle those fingers, three, two, and one. You got it. So that's how we're going to figure out our finger numbers as we play through. Again, thumbs are one. Always remember your thumbs are one and you're golden. So let's jump back into now our keyboard. Now, before we move on, I want you just to play through your keys with me. So something I like to do, low to high, just right up the white keys, lightly. Don't hurt your fingers, really light, low to high. Now up the black keys, low to high. Again, low to high. Nice, now let's go high to low down the white keys. Again, high to low. And the black keys, high to low. High to low. Oh, I used to do that all the time. So now before we move on, friend, I want you to take a look at your keys. What do you notice? Do you notice some type of pattern or difference between black and white. So, okay, now I want you to focus on the black keys. What do you see? Do you see how there's a pattern? You have three, two, three, two, three, two, three, and two. That is what we're going to focus on when we move into our first few songs. So believe it or not, my friend, you have already gone through page five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're going to meet on page number 10. So we are going to start playing at this point, but I wanted to show you something really cool. At the top, it says that you have your twos and threes, just like we talked about. You also have the title of our first song called Two Black Ants. 
Now in this little yellow square, it tells us the keys that we're playing on. It tells us the finger numbers, and it also tells us what hand. Now LH does stand for, did you think of it already? Left hand. Now, you can choose to go through and add in how many groups of two and three black keys you have. Everybody's answer is most likely going to be different depending on what kind of keyboard you have. Uh, so feel free to fill that out just so you can go through and count them. But let's go down to our song. Notice that it says two, three, and then together. Then it goes finger two, three, together, and it does that another two times. So we're actually going from the top part of our song all the way down to the bottom because we do read our music from left to right. So in this case, we're going to notice that our notes are going down. So I'm going to show you what this means. Our left hand also makes an L when you look at it. Did you know that? When you're looking at it, it's an L. So I'm going to go ahead and play this through for you in a pattern that I call I play, we play, and then you play so that we can you can get a better understanding of it as we move through them. Let's go ahead to the first one. All right, so we're going to move through this song. I like to do a look and listen time. So it's an I play, then we will play it together the second time. And then I'll give you a moment to play it through on your own before we move on to the next song. Here is Two Black Ants. Join in with me. Remember, we are using our left hand. We're going from high to low on our keyboard. And we're only using fingers two and three. So let's join in together. One, two, left hand, play. Two, three, together. Then you move down to the next group. Two, three, together. Move it on down two, three together, and one last group, two, three together. All right, go ahead, pause, play it through two to three times, and come on back. All right, my friends, so now we've finished up two black ants, we're now going to move on to two black birds on page 11. Now, before I give you all the answers, I would love for you to just take a look at the page See if you can notice the differences before I point them out to you. Go ahead, take a moment to do that. Okay, did you notice a couple? So here are the differences that I see here. So the first is that you're on your right hand now instead of the left hand. And the second is that instead of going from high to low, you're now going from low to high. So as we read through our song, we're going up the page, so we're going up the piano. So those are two of our differences. We do still start on our group of two black keys, playing through your two and your three, and it still goes two, three, and together, four times going up our keyboard. So we're still playing it four times going up. Let's go ahead and jump to our piano and play this one through together. All right, now with our right hand going low to high up our piano. Remember, it's still four groups, and I play, then we'll play, and then I'll have you practice it through. Here's two blackbirds. my friend join in with me let's play it together starting lower on your keys two three and then together curve those fingers here we go one two ready let's play two three together next two three together next two three together last one two three together Pause the video, play it through two to three times, and come on back. All right, moving right along. So now we're going to change things up just a little bit into the cave. Now into the cave, we are now going to 
move to the groups of three black keys. We're also adding a fourth finger and moving back over to our left hand. Friends, this is also one of our shortest songs. It goes two, three, four together, one, two, three, four times. Do you see? Going high to low. Let's go ahead and jump to our piano and play this one through. All right, into the cave, back to the left hand. I'll play it through, then join in with me the second time. Here's how it goes. Right, join in with me. Left hand, curve those fingers over the group of three black keys with two, three, and four. Let's play it together. One, two, ready, let's play. Two, three, four, together. Move it on down. Two, three, four, together. And the last one. Two, three, Go ahead, pause, play it through two to three times, and come on back. Woo, y'all, we are moving into our very last song of this first class together. Let's go ahead to Three Little Kittens. Oh, so cute. Now, Three Little Kittens does take us back over to our right hand, and instead of going high to low, it's going low to high. Now there's one difference I want you to notice as well in this song. You have three groups and then the last group, something's different. Can you tell what's different about the last group? All right, let me take a look at it with you. Let's see if you got it right. Every other group goes two, three, four together, but the last group you only play together. And it actually says, that you spring off of the keys. So let's go ahead and jump to our keys one last time as we play this one through. Okay, my friends, now you're also going to have something called a Kahoot in your classroom. So it will be a link and it's under your theory section. Let me show you what this is all about. So here is Kahoot. So it's going to be a game that's going to review our finger numbers. You could play this again two to three times or more during the week. And what you're going to do is you'll enter your name here and hit OK Go. And then at the very top, it's going to take us through a series of just some different questions and things. But before you start, it gives you a really cool review. Now, once you've read anything on the page, you can go to the top where it says, got it. Let me show that here with your pointer. So here is our got it up here at the top right. So you'll go ahead and you'll click that. It will give us some different information, reminders, remember that left hand makes the L. You'll have your right hand, left hand, also your finger numbers as a review. You hit got it, and then it goes right into a game. As an example, this is what you'll have. It will have a star on a finger of a hand, and you'll have to write whether it's your left, right hand, and then if, what finger number you have. So it's a total of eight questions. There's no timer. So you have time to take a look at what you have. So this one, for instance, you'd have right hand and you count your fingers. One, two, three, four, five, right hand five. And there you go. So then you would actually hit got it. It will give you your score. And then you go to next. And then you'll see what hand and finger number is a star on. And you'll look, okay, this is the left hand, right? Because you can make a little L, left hand two. You'd answer your question and then you'd keep going through the exercises. So that's going to be how the Kahoot works. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me in your classroom or learner chat. Also, I'm here for you during the week. So if you have questions before the next class, please feel free to ask me. I cannot wait the journey alongside you. You got this. I'll see you next class.